All right, we're going to look at Alex's butterfly. Good start. Try not to go so deep. Hand over hand is what we're looking for. And one thing that you do is you do a really big up and down butterfly. And you can kind of see how you're not getting a lot of distance per stroke because it's so up and down. Because every time I go down, now I got to I have to cover all that water that I just went. So all the water that I'm all all, all under right now, I have to make up that. And how am I going to do that? I'm going to have to bring my head up really high. Remember, we want to keep the head in line with the body. We don't want to be looking at the deck. We want to be looking more at an angle, and we want to be looking more down. To breathe, we just want to push that chin forward. And it's a slight movement with the chin. You can kind of see there, I'm kind of bringing my shoulders up and back. And remember, we talked about the pressure back there. And the pressure back there on the shoulders and around the neck you get into a longer uh, 200 flyer, you do a long set of fly in practice, you're going to be in a lot of pain in the shoulders because of the fact that you're pulling the legs behind you. So try to get a little bit more hip movement and what we talked about, keeping the head in line with the body, the ski jumper mentality, that's going to keep everything pushing forward. And you kind of see right now we're an up and down stroke, up and down stroke, and even we're not reaching out as far as we possibly could kind of see we're reaching right there. If we're doing the half circle, we're going to be reaching further out. Okay, and that's that's going to make a huge difference in terms of our distance per stroke and our ease. So just try to think about those things. I think you made good improvements uh, throughout the week and especially on the body position. So keep doing that. Okay, we're going to look at Alex's butterfly. You need to make sure on the start that you're getting a hand over hand Right there, hand over hand is what we're looking for. Tight squeeze on the side of the head, streamline. That'll give you a little bit more uh, power as you come off the start. One thing that um, that you're doing is more of an up down free uh, butterfly, and you can see that as, as see how deep your hands are going as you come in. You want to keep those arms more towards the surface with a smooth uh, recovery. Um, that's more of a, uh, a round catch and grab kind of the half circle that we talked about this week. Also, just like kind of breaststroke, you want to keep that head in line with the body. And when you go to breathe, I think you're bringing the head really high up out of the water. You want to keep the chin more towards the surface. And you can see there, see how much my knees are bending? So now, since my knees are bending that much, and I'm not getting as much hip rotation, it's causing me to have to do an up-down uh, butterfly. We want the butterfly to be more in this motion. Um, the up-down butterfly comes more up and straight down and up and straight down. So it's not as smooth. It's going to be a little bit more taxing on the body and especially on the arms because of the fact that you're doing that high elbow uh, over, over the shoulder, kind of the, the shoulder uh, shrug recovery. I think just practicing a little bit more with the kick uh, in practice, but you can see, look how you're looking straight down, okay? and the hands are coming down. So now everything is having to work a lot harder on the lower body. Just want to bring those arms around to the side, grab out in front, just like we talked about. And I think that's going to help you just get a little bit more smooth on the fly. Also, just work more with the hips and work on the kick. And those two things together should make your fly a lot more easy to swim. Good job.